The Trump family is the most famous political family in the world, and every day their names are splashed across the headlines. The princess of the family, Ivanka, works hard to make everything in her life look perfect, even her family. After marrying Jared Kushner in 2009, the couple has three children, whom Ivanka regularly features on Instagram. They may look like your normal school-aged kids, but when your grandfather is the President of the United States of America, nothing is normal. Their family runs American, and the White House is their playground. I think he's ready. Born on October 30, 1981, Ivana Marie Ivanka Trump is the first daughter of Donald Trump and his first wife, Ivana Marie Trump. Ivanka followed in her parents' footsteps, becoming a model and a businesswoman. In 2005, she started dating real estate developer Jared Kushner, whom she met through mutual friends. The couple broke up in 2008 due to the objections of Kushner's parents, but got back together and married in a Jewish ceremony on October 25, 2009. They have three children, a daughter born in July 2011 named Arabella Rose, and two sons born in October 2013 and March 2016 named Theodore James and Joseph Fred. Currently, they're aged 9, 7, and 4. Her daughter Arabella Rose has the initials of Jared's two grandmothers, and son Joseph Frederick is named for both of his paternal great-grandfathers. In an interview on The Dr. Oz Show, Ivanka revealed that she has suffered from postpartum depression after each of her pregnancies. This is something that affects parents all over the country. Before marrying Jared, Ivanka converted from Presbyterian Christian to Orthodox Judaism. This is because Jared's parents, Cyril and Charlie Kushner, refused to meet Ivanka due to her faith. Charlie tried to make Ivanka conversion harder with challenges, which Ivanka all passed, getting the blessing of Jared's parents. As Jared grew up in a very structured and religious family, faith still plays an important role in the Kushner household. The family are observant Orthodox Jews and partake in many Jewish traditions, such as Hanukkah and Sabbath. Ivanka told Vogue, We observe the Sabbath. From Friday to Saturday, we don't do anything but hang out with one another. We don't make phone calls. The couple turn off their phones for 25 hours, starting from Friday. They reserve the weekends for family time. She explained to People magazine, We work really hard during the week, and we really prioritize weekends for just being sort of reconnecting as a family. It's very seldom that we'll have a commitment on a Saturday or a Sunday. It's really about us being together. On Twitter, Ivanka wrote, Every weekend I cook Friday night dinner with my family. At first, Ivanka did not know how to cook, but practice makes perfect. She tells people that she specializes in desserts now because of Arabella's sweet tooth. Breakfast is family time for Ivanka, her husband, and their children. Starting the day together as a family and chatting over breakfast before we all head off in different directions is the most important part of her morning, according to Ivanka. To ensure this happens, Ivanka wakes up every day at 5.30 a.m. so she can get ready and work out before getting her kids up at 7 a.m. For breakfast, her children have two options, Greek yogurt or oatmeal with lots of toppings. This is because having only two choices for breakfast protects the children from decision fatigue. According to the New York Times, it's when one person makes so many decisions, they eventually have difficulty making any decisions at all. Ivanka's way of reducing decision-making for her kids is to give them only two things for breakfast, so their reserves can be used for more important decisions. It's unknown if Ivanka practices this method herself. The family cooks and eats noodles for their birthdays. This is a Chinese birthday custom the Kushner household adopted. As in Chinese tradition, long noodles symbolize a long life. The household has a keen interest in Chinese culture. Their eldest daughter, Arabella Kushner, along with her brothers, are actively learning Mandarin from their Chinese nanny. Back in 2017, six-year-old Arabella helped diplomatic relations between the U.S. and China. During Trump's visit to China, Arabella recited classic Chinese literature and sang a Chinese song to the Chinese president and his wife. <laughs> For New Year's, Ivanka also posted a video of Arabella singing Happy New Year's in Mandarin, playing with a traditional Chinese toy alongside her brother, making her a viral hit in China. People found her effort heartwarming, and she even gained fans. There are fan pages dedicated to Arabella. When they're not at home, all three children attend elementary school. Like their father, the children, Arabella, Joseph, and Theodore, all attend private Hebrew schools. In Washington, D.C., they're enrolled at Milton Gottensman Jewish Day School. Tuition at the private school costs $28,400 per school year. Amid the pandemic, the children started the school year with virtual learning before returning physically to school. The family celebrated back-to-school season with some delicious-looking cupcakes on Instagram.
The Kushner kids have always lived in luxury. Before Ivanka and Jared became Donald Trump's top advisors in the American government, they lived in New York in a $16 million apartment. In Washington, the family lives in a $5.5 million six-bedroom house two blocks away from the Obamas. The kids adjusted to their move very quickly by doing everyday activities like apple picking, ice skating, and playing around. Ivanka believes childhood memories are made outside and actively encourages her children to go outside and play. She regularly snaps them skiing, sledding, gardening, and playing at playgrounds. The family likes to garden and cook together. Arabella and Joseph picked them off the trees. It wasn't always smooth sailing for Ivanka and Jared. They had trouble adjusting to having three young kids at home. Initially, Ivanka wanted to raise her kids in the city, like in New York, because of all the activities the city offers, such as museums. But as her family's political ties are strong, her children may just be staying in Washington. When her father's presidency ends, maybe the family will move back to New York. All the Kushner children were born before their grandfather's presidency. Theodore was born in March during Trump's 2016 election campaign. It's inevitable that as part of America's first family, many of Theodore's major milestones would take place in some stately places, like when he was filmed on camera crawling for the first time on none other than the White House floor. His mother and sister happily encouraged the toddler. The children regularly visit the White House, making it their unofficial playground. They have spent holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas there with the whole Trump family. It's it seems Ivanka sometimes takes her children to work as they are often in photo ops. Pictures of Ivanka and her children look perfect. That's because there isn't much spontaneity in her life. In her book, Women Who Work, she breaks down how much time she spends with her kids down to the minute. She schedules time for her kids. With Arabella, she schedules in dates to the library and reads two books per day to her. And with little Theodore, she gives him two to three of his bottles and puts him to bed each night. As for Joseph, he loves playing with cars. Images of Ivanka and her kids might look spontaneous, but due to her regimented nature, we now know better. There are moments where you can see the true nature of her kids, since after all, they're just kids. In a rare moment caught on camera, the youngest two, Theodore and Joseph, were acting less than perfect. The two boys wanted to get off an Air Force One plane as soon as possible, so they rushed towards the exit. However, due to safety protocols, they were stopped by the Secret Service. One of the two brothers proceeded to bite the arm of the agent, hoping to be let go. This small moment captures the playfulness of the two young boys and how they're oblivious to the political dealings of their family, but are accustomed to the high-rolling life of private planes and security detail. There's no doubt Ivanka loves all three of her children, but she pays just a little bit extra attention to her daughter, Arabella. There's nothing quite like the bond between a mother and daughter, and this is particularly true for Ivanka and Arabella. You can't help but notice Ivanka has extra pictures with her daughter and of her daughter. Ivanka took Arabella to the Supreme Court to attend a hearing so the seven-year-old could learn about the judicial system. There's a special connection the two have. Even when Arabella was just two years old, Ivanka would set special time aside to have a lunch date with her daughter. Ivanka told people, she is my most important lunch meeting of the week. Aside from learning Mandarin, Ivanka has enrolled Arabella in special lessons in the arts. The family has a grand piano next to their wine rack, where Arabella practices piano. She has also taken an interest in dance, as she is taking ballet lessons. As for her sons, Ivanka says Jared is very hands-on with them. Ivanka and Jared are no strangers to high-powered jobs and they both work hard. Ivanka told New York Magazine, I'm happy for him when he's in the office working late. I know how good that feels when you sit down and return emails. In an interview with Vogue, Jared discussed his home life with Ivanka. I would say she is definitely the CEO of our household, whereas I'm more on the board of directors. It's not typical to describe your home life with business terms, but Jared and Ivanka live and breathe business. Sometimes they can't stop working. Their date nights usually involve work. My husband's idea of a date night somehow always involves me looking at a development site," Ivanka told Vogue. Ivanka gives an example. I find myself standing on the roof of the Whole Foods in Guaynas in the pouring rain at midnight, and he's showing me this giant site he just bought. I'm like, huh, so this is why you chose that restaurant. Even with all the business, Ivanka tries to find time for her kids. However, Ivanka has a tendency to run her house like a business, with scheduled playtime and activities to enrich her children's mind. While her father can be quite controversial, Ivanka has often come out unscathed. 
Much of that is thanks to her family-oriented image, displaying herself as a working mom. Whenever her father becomes the debate of the town, Ivanka ignores all press inquiries with her impeccable style and reminds everyone of her family values with pictures of her children. The family looks picture-perfect, but nothing is perfect. After all, Ivanka and Jared are simply raising their children, much like how they were raised, and with globalization in mind. Trump and Kushner are very busy with their roles in the Trump administration. They carve out time on the weekends for their family. They make sure people know by posting it on social media. Did anything surprise you? Would you give your kids two options for breakfast so they wouldn't get decision fatigue? Are Ivanka Trump's kids the future of America? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more videos like this one, subscribe to The Taco. See you next time!